Thanks. Just thought I'd share a little uh, diagnostic work in progress. This is my work, my powerhouse laptop. Uh, used to be. I stopped using it though after it, uh, well, the touchscreen stopped working. This is a Lenovo Yoga 720-15 IKB. Um, it has a 4K touchscreen. Also, it works with the Windows Ink Pen. Fantastic laptop. Um, never had any problems with it until all of a sudden I noticed that the touchscreen didn't work anymore. I went and I looked. I found out most everybody, if not everyone, who has this particular model, uh, well, the touchscreen doesn't work. So one of the first things I tried is I tried replacing the circuit board. Uh, sorry about the pointing the camera at the screen thing, but uh, don't really have a choice right now. So there's this little digitizer circuit board for the uh, touchscreen. I bought a new one, made sure it was the right model, everything, replaced it, nothing. The touchscreen did not work. So a long time ago, I decided I was going to point my oscilloscope at it. Funny thing, I lost, I misplaced my probe. In addition to my logic analyzer, I had to buy new probes. I'm going to need to buy a new logic analyzer. Thankfully, they're cheap. Um, but uh, so I started probing around just to see what my plan was to try to find a signal somewhere on the board that when I touched the screen, I could see the touches happening. I believe this is connected with uh, I2C to the board, and you can you can decode I2C signals um, using open source software with a logic analyzer, of course, a cheap one, which I can't find. So I just poked around at the board, started looking at signals, was tapping it, and all of a sudden I noticed my taps were working. Holy cow. So there is my touch screen working again. Just by poking a uh, oscilloscope probe at the back. Something like this. Here you can see me poke, pokety poke. This poking, the just Whatever I was poking at here managed to get it working again. See, I can do the whole pinchy pinchy thing. I forgot about forgot about all that. It uh, those those uh, components all have approximately this 445 450 kilohertz signal, which um, thankfully that's low enough my oscilloscope can see it and uh, the logic analyzers will be able to see it. So if I wanted to try to decode it, hopefully it's something I can decode, uh, that's a possibility. But what's really interesting is how many times I've managed to fix it just by poking around at these things right here. These, uh, most of them, I don't, I don't think these two do, but these these guys, these three... All have that signal. This one's a little lower. These two look about the same. I think I'm shorting something accidentally while I'm probing. And that shorting, for whatever reason, maybe it's resetting. This is the uh, this is the chip right here that actually does the work. Maybe it's resetting something. I don't know. But uh, it has worked repeatedly. Of course, the moment the screen goes dark or the moment you put it to sleep, it stops working. <laughs> so, of course, uh, I've gone in and made it so the screen won't shut off. Just, I'll plug it in, put it somewhere where I'm not sleeping, and have the screen stay on and continue working. Or I might just shut it and plan on fixing it again. Uh, the difficulty is I gotta, you gotta unscrew these things, and then you gotta pop the screen out. Popping the screen out isn't hard now because I have removed the adhesive. There's these uh, adhesive strips behind the screen that work kind of like command adhesives. You have to pull them out real slow. The official service document says you're supposed to completely disassemble the laptop to get to it. You don't actually have to. Um, 
I don't have to take the bottom off the laptop in order to, to get behind the screen anymore. What would be really, really helpful is if, oh, some big brain, some big electrical engineer guy or gal or, or, uh, other pronoun, um, could help me understand just exactly what I am doing by probing here and why probing would possibly make a difference as to why the touchscreen works. Um, I'll probably keep looking at it. I started on this not expecting much of anything to happen. I certainly didn't expect, oh yeah, there's my ground attached to that grounding strap. I certainly didn't attempt to get it to work. That's a bit of a shocker. But uh, I'm not complaining. I just wish I could figure out why and if there's something repeatable. Now, my theory, which may be crazy, but my theory is that there's some startup process that is supposed to occur or something that is supposed to be done after startup to initialize the, the touchscreen. Um, and I believe some firmware update at some point broke that. That's my thought. My thought, the reason I think that is that, it, well, it's either that or all the boards have gone bad. That That's a possibility. I, I guess I hadn't really thought of that one. So it could just be all the boards went bad. Maybe one of those components that I'm shorting out or, or poking at, maybe, maybe I'm poking at a capacitor and just by poking, I'm altering its, its capacitance and that's all it takes to get the thing running again. I don't know. I'm not an electrical engineer. I, I just play one on TV. So, um, anyway, I hope this was interesting. I, if you have one of these, maybe you can have a little hope that we can get them running again. Um, I, if you've been privy to the situation, Lenovo won't help. They won't even let people pay to fix it. It's it's kind of absurd. Um, they also censor their their support forums. There's a there's a class action lawsuit somebody's trying to start out there about this particular issue, and on their forums you're not allowed to mention those. So uh, I guess I won't be linking this to the forum, but. <laughs> Uh, it's like they know that they've got a problem and they know they're not fixing it. And if they would, boy, that'd be great. So if I can isolate exactly which, which thing I have to poke to get it running again, maybe, just maybe, if I harass them on Twitter, like I did once before, if I just keep harassing them, I'll get access to someone who is not tier one support. Someone who could actually possibly do something about this. It's unlikely but uh, at least now we have a little, I don't know, movement. So anyhow, uh, apologize for the uh, length and the rambling and the camera pointing at the screen. I know that's annoying. <laughs> um, I just wanted to give this update uh, while I was down here working on it. So uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.